In this module, you will learn about structure and function of cells. Cells form the basic unit of all organisms. Cells form tissues and tissues form organs. Organs such as nose and lungs form a part of an organ system. The respiratory system. Are there any other organ systems? Some of the organ systems are the nervous system, the digestive system, and the excretory system. All these organ systems work together to run a complex organism. Do plants have organs? Leaves, roots, and stems are the organs of plants. Like animal tissues, these are also made of tiny units of cells. What are the basic components of a cell? The basic components of a cell are cytoplasm, cell membrane, and nucleus. Can we observe a plant cell under the microscope? To do so, take an onion bulb. Remove a thin peel from the onion bulb. Spread the peel on the glass slide and put a drop of water on it. Water will prevent the peel from drying. Then, add a drop of methylene blue solution to the peel. Place a cover slip on it. Tap the cover slip gently to prevent the formation of air bubbles in the slide. Place the slide under the microscope. What are the structures observed in a plant cell under the microscope? A big, empty space seen at the center of the cell is called the vacuole. A vacuole gives a rigid shape to the cell. It also stores waste and food materials in it. Does the rigidity of cells depend only on vacuum? Not entirely. The cell membrane also helps to provide shape to the cell. What are the other functions of the cell membrane? The cell membrane, also called the plasma membrane, separates one cell from another, separates the cell from the surrounding medium, and allows the movement of minerals and other substances in and out of the cell. What role does the thick covering enclosing the cell have? The outer thick layer is the cell wall made of cellulose. Plants cannot move from one place to another. Therefore, plant cells require cell walls to protect the cell from climatic changes like a rise or fall in temperature, high wind speeds and atmospheric moisture. What is this jelly-like fluid in the plant cell called? Cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid present in between the nucleus and the cell membrane. It contains a number of organelles. What are those colored structures present in the plant cell? Those are plastids. Chloroplast is a type of plastid involved in photosynthesis in plants. 
This gives the leaves the green color. What are the other organelles present in a plant cell? They include mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, ribosome and endoplasmic reticulum. What about the dark spherical structure in the cell? It is the nucleus and it controls all the activities of the cell. It contains the nucleolus, which is a smaller spherical body. The nucleus also contains thread-like structures called the chromosomes. Chromosomes are called the vehicles of heredity. Chromosomes carry genes and help in the inheritance or transfer of characters from the parents to their offspring. For example, the color of the eyes is a character that is transferred from granddad to dad and from dad to the son. Similarly, plants also transfer their characters to their offspring through genes. Nucleus, in addition to its role in inheritance, acts as the control center of all the activities of the cell. Which is the living component of a cell? Protoplasm refers to the entire living content of a cell, which includes the cytoplasm and the nucleus. Can we observe an animal cell under the microscope? To do so, collect a human cell by gently scraping the inside of the cheek using a toothpick. Here is the toothpick with the human cells. Let's place the scraping on a slide and add a drop of water to it. Now, add a drop of methylene blue and place a cover slip over it. Make sure no air bubbles form during this process. Now place it on the stage and observe it through the microscope. We can observe many organelles, such as the nucleus, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies, and ribosome. In this module, you learned that a tissue is an aggregation of similar cells. Groups of tissues form organs and organs form organ systems. The basic components of a cell are cytoplasm, cell membrane and nucleus. The cell membrane encloses the cytoplasm and the nucleus. It also separates one cell from another. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid that occupies the area between the nucleus and the cell membrane. The nucleus is present at the center of the cell. It controls all the activities of the cell. Chromosomes are known as the vehicles of heredity since they carry genes. Genes transfer characters from the parents to their offspring.